Hi guys, I'm going to do a quick review and sh really short tutorial on the raccoon honey that we just got. We got the much bigger bags. These little ones are the 25s, um, 25 I think mils, and uh, the big one, or 20, I'm sorry, 25 grams, and the bigger ones are 80. So these are the big ones. And then, oh, oh. Sorry, let me move some of this stuff. And then these are the little ones. So you can see how much more you get. Alright. So, um, this is, you can use the raccoon honey for a bunch of different things. You can use them for, uh, like the beer tutorial. And, or you can use them for mini desserts. Like this. And you'll need a small icing, or yes, icing tip. So what I did, and I also give you um, some ex, well, an extra bag, but it's ready to go like that. I'm going to put a tip on this real quick. I, I like to tape it on the outside just because, you know, I use like a painter's tape and that, I think that works the best. It doesn't stick to your your icing tip and it's easy to come off it doesn't rain anything but when you want to um, seal it you know twist it tight put a rubber band on it or put it in another in the icing bag that I give you and you know um, pull, put all the air out twist it up and put a rubber band on it okay what I got here is a little purse hanger, and I made this little this little guy the other day without the magnet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off the tip of this raccoon honey and put it on there, and then I'm going to put my little ice cream on top. Cause I, don't, I really don't like the design on it wasn't my favorite, but I found it on sale. Take that. And I like to start, they want you to start from the outside, so. I like to kind of go in a zigzaggy motion. Or you can even go circular. That works too. Whatever your preference. Okay, so now we got the whipped cream on top. And then we will put our little ice cream that's on the plate with a spoon. And we'll just Put her on top there. So it takes about, um, depending on how much you use and how thick you use it, it can take like about 24 to 48 hours to dry completely. So um, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Bye.